The bouncing phenomenon known as purposing has multiple teams and drivers concerned about the 2022 cars. One team who sticks it out in particular is Mercedes. The purposing has occurred as a result of Formula One adopting ground effect aerodynamics as part of the regulatory overhaul for 2022 and at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It sparked discussions surrounding the impact of it on the health of drivers. However, not all teams agree that it's a real issue. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner feels that these complaints are just deployed by the slower teams to get the rules changed. Welcome to Formula Zone, your daily summary of quick news in the Formula One scene. In this video, we'll be talking about the clash that occurred between Red Bull team principal Christian Horner and Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff. So let's get started. Tensions sparked between Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff and Red Bull team principal Christian Horner in a purposing debate as team principals met at the Canadian Grand Prix. Yes, this is 2022, not 2021. Mercedes boss Wolff had already expressed his belief that team bosses were playing political games when it came to purposing, manipulating what is being said by drivers in order to protect their competitive advantage or gain it. He called their behavior pitiful. One witness said Mercedes boss Wolf lost his mind, while another reported he went into full Abu Dhabi spec, referring to his fury after the 2021 season finale. Wolf and Horner were said to have clashed in the meeting, the spark being when Horner had called it unfair to change the rules to suit one team. Mercedes, of course, being the team he was referring to. Another insider at the meeting said Ferrari boss Mattia Binotto had intervened, telling Wolf he disagreed on the need for a change to the regulations simply because the Mercedes W13 has not yet been proven successful. Ferrari have also suffered porpoising but are still fighting at the front against Red Bull. Another view was also put forward that Wolf's message was delivered powerfully, if not excessively, the same as Horner, who equally stood his ground. A few weeks back, Horner had reinforced his belief that the team and its drivers were exaggerating purposing issues to change the rules. If I wanted the rules changed, I would whine on the team radio and make it a really big thing. It's all part of the game. You can't compare it to a football player who falls in the penalty area and wants a penalty. He then suggested that there is a very simple fix for the purposing. You can see that it's very uncomfortable, but that can be solved by raising the bottom of the car a little higher from the ground. Only that solution is at the expense of the speed of the car, so they make it a safety issue. They hope to get the rules revised. He then responded to drivers suggesting it's unsafe. You have the choice to get in the car or not. If it's really unsafe, you don't race. He finished by stating that it would be unfair to change the rules now. They just hope to have changed the rules, but I wouldn't think that's fair. If all the teams have problems, then it's fair to change the rules. But if you change the rules now, you'd be rewarding those teams that haven't done a good job. That feels unfair to teams that have done a good job. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko also had something to say about the issue. He labeled the change in the rules as complete nonsense. Just because a team can't cope with the changes doesn't mean to change the regulations. All these claims by Horner and Red Bull looked to have angered Toto Wolf a lot. So when he had the chance to reply to these claims at the meeting, it seems he wasn't happy with Horner. Mercedes ran a second floor in Canada, as allowed by FIA's pre-event technical directive, but no other teams chose to do the same. Then there were claims that the modification was actually illegal, as the FIA had not changed the regulations to allow it. So Mercedes found itself at risk of a protest if it ran with it for qualifying. The component was removed for Saturday after Mercedes said it had not delivered any improvement. Sources suggest Wolf expressed his disappointment that others were trying to gain competitive and political advantage through something that was of genuine safety concern to his drivers. Wolf was asked by Motorsport.com about both the porpoising situation and the meeting. Wolf could not hide his annoyance at how things were playing out. This is a sport where you're trying to keep a competitive advantage or gain it, but this situation has clearly gone too far. All drivers, at least one in every team, have said that they were in pain after Baku, that they had difficulty in keeping the car on track or blurred vision. Team principals tried to manipulate what is being said in order to keep the competitive advantage and try to play political games when the FIA tries to come up with a quick solution to at least put the cars in a better position is disingenuous. And that's what I said. I'm not only talking about Mercedes, all of the cars suffered in some way or another in Baku and still do here. The cars are too stiff. The cars bounce or whatever you want to call it. You have long-term effects that we can't even judge. But at any time, this is a safety risk and then coming up with little manipulations in the background or Chinese whispers or briefing the drivers is just pitiful. Wolf says that a lot of drivers are equal and happy with the situation, including Red Bull Sergio Perez. Of course, 
People will question whether my position is sincere or not. That's why I'm saying it's not only our problem. But if a Red Bull driver says you reach 300 kilometers per hour, which is when the issue comes up, and with these problems, you can even lose your vision when braking or not being able to position the car properly, as Paris said. Then you listen to the words of Saints. You listen to what Ricardo has said. We'll listen to what Okana said. Magnuson and both are drivers. This is not a team's problem. This is a design issue of ground effect cars that needs to be tackled before we have a situation, whatever it is. And it's not just putting the cars up, because putting the cars up doesn't solve the stiffness of the inherent aerodynamic characteristics. The FIA have actually announced their intentions to make changes to address the porpoising of the 2022 cars. This hasn't been welcomed by everyone, including the folks at Red Bull, who we know aren't keen at all on changing them and seem to be one of the latest affected by the bouncing. Red Bull driver Max Verstappen has suggested that all this is being done just for one team. I think it's a bit disappointing that again, there's a rule change mid-season, I would say. He then expanded on the one-team idea similar to Christian Horner. It's not even about affecting us more or less than the other teams, but it shouldn't be that one team is complaining a lot and suddenly then they change the regulation around it. I think that there are a lot of teams that actually did an amazing job to not have these kinds of issues, so it's possible to drive around it. He then opened up on the answer to the bouncing with a similar answer to Horner. If you race your car, then you won't have these issues. You lose performance. But if you can't design the car properly for that, then that's your fault. It's not the Reich's fault. For me, that's a bit of a shame. He ended his point by reiterating that it is a shame to change the regulations mid-season. Of course, every track is different too, but I think it's a bit of a shame to change it mid-season and clearly, teams have shown you can drive normally or at least with a lot less issues than some other teams. Red Bull's sister team AlphaTauri driver Pierre Gasly seems to be happy with the decision from the FIA to step in and attempt to fix the issue. What we experienced in Baku clearly went too far. We can't accept that our back is mistreated like this for an hour and a half. It seems Azerbaijan was really a major point in the change of the regulations. Azerbaijan's extremely long straights resulted in the constant bouncing of the cars. Red Bull and Mercedes are barely ever close to each other on track anymore, and still, they can find a way to get heated with each other. It's nearly like 2021 season all over again. Let us know what you think in the comments. Should the regulations change? Are Mercedes being dramatic? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you never miss any Formula One news.